So our next, our next um, problem tangency is to try to draw a circle. circle. This is the second example of tangency, is to try to draw a tangent to a, a circle from a given point. So here is our circle and this is our given point A, all right? Now, the given point A is outside of the circle. The initial example we did, the given point A was on the circle, on the circumference of the circle. But this one, the circle, this point is outside at a dis distance away from the circle. So the first thing you are going to do is to join, draw, we draw our circle with the center lines, okay? And then you see the first thing you do is to join point A point A outside of the circle to the center of the circle, okay? So center of the circle at point O. Then we bisect the line, this, this line AO to find its midpoint, midpoint of line AO as point B. Okay, so you are going to try that on our drawing sheet. So here we have our circle and this time, I'll point it somewhere away from the circle. Let's see, over here. This way I'll point this. The point we are drawing from lies somewhere over here. Okay, so that is going to be our point A. Okay, so we are going to, uh, we are drawing a tangent from this point to, to touch the circle. So again, we are going to draw a straight line from point A to the center, O. Center, O. We are going to draw a straight line. So now that I've drawn my point A to my point O, I'm going to now draw my bisector. So with my compass open to more than half the distance between A and O. This is my compass well. Right on the point A. Okay, open up my compass. I want to make my compass longer. Okay. Larger than half. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now I draw my other acts to complete my points of intersection. So now I stand at point O and draw the other acts. thickness of my lines are not correct. The thickness of my arc lines, I'm going to change those. 
Now I have my axe. I'm going to draw my complete the my perpendicular bisector of line AO. So now that I have my line, now that I have my perpendicular bisector, I know exactly where the central point between on line AO is located, right over here, where the perpendicular bisector cuts line AO. So I'm going to have to stand at that point. I'm going to stand at that point and draw an arc. I'm going to stand at that point, point of intersection, and then draw a semicircle. There's my semicircle. Again, this semicircle is a constructional line, so it should be also thin and faint like the, all the other lines. So I'm going to change its thickness. Remember the point where the bisector intersects line AD is our point B. And we are going to call the point where the semicircle we just drew intersects the circle to which you are drawing a tangent. We are going to call that point point C. Okay, so over here is our point C. All right, that's our point C. So now that we have our point C, we are going to draw a straight line from that point all the way to point A. And that, that line from C to A is going to be our tangent from point A to point C. So there is our tangent line AC, and we can always draw a perpendicular line from the center O to the point C. That line is perpendicular to the tangent. So there's our perpendicular line, line CO to perpendicular to line AC. We can show that over here, perpendicular. So we are done. And this is our external tangent line we expected to draw, to draw our external tangent line. So our extend tangent line from point A to point C. So that's our expected tangent line.